Hi Scorpios and welcome to Arcana Priestess. For those of you that are new, I'm so glad to have you. And if you're returning, I'm so glad to have you again. All right, so I just did your extended reading and it was seriously amazing. It completely touched my heart. Um, this is strong soulmate energy. So if you're wondering about, if you know that your ex is your soulmate, this could be related to that. But otherwise, it's not going to be related to you if it's about an ex, okay? This is about somebody that... I don't want to give away too much. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of clips at the end. Um, if you feel called to watch it, watch it. But it was one of the most beautiful readings that I have ever done for, uh, for you guys. So, yeah. That's all I'm going to say. A lot of synchronicities came up. A lot of... Um, repeating cards came in and it was just genuine, you know, which is all we want as Scorpios in love. We want that genuine energy. So I'm happy. Oh, look, as I'm saying that, look at what I see. Perfect match. The relationship was reminding me, I'll say one more thing, is the relationship was reminding me of um, Fast and the Furious relationship. So let's see, I'm gonna, I have a couple different oracles that are related to love. We are just going to do um, a love reading and we're gonna see what comes out. All right, Scorpio, let's see. Sometimes when I do this, it ends up being like a sister reading to the extended, so we'll see how it goes. Scorpio, show me what do Scorpios need to see in love? So this month and the next month, I'll be teaching the law of attraction and manifestation on my personal Instagram, Ray's Runway. So if you're not already following me there and those are things that interest you, feel free as I will be doing reels um, a couple times a week sharing. I had filmed all the content already, so it's already prepped, ready to go for you guys. And just sharing how I first got into manifestation, how I manifest, um, the things that I've manifested and how and just all these um, incredible stories for those of you that you know you're into the law of attraction so and then the next um, two months are going to be all about business business related things um, YouTube and um, tarot all of that so I'm gonna have themes and they're gonna be two months long I also do very fun astrology content over there um, zodiac sign content all that stuff all right Cancer, first card. So some of you guys are dealing with a cancer, but I'm also hearing that a cancer has you on their mind. You, you're annoyed of this cancer. You may have this cancer block. This could be an ex, whatever the case is, but I'm hearing pick up a goddamn phone. This cancer has a little bit of an aggression. This may not be a cancer. Um, this could be a cancer moon or a cancer rising, to be honest. Um, it may not be a cancer though. It could be any sign, but that is somebody seriously has that message like pick up the goddamn phone before i show up at your house so i don't know what happened here or whoa this person needs to calm down okay and now i'm hearing i don't know who you think you are you know what it is is this is just a narcissist and you saw right through them and their tricks don't work anymore and you're the first person that saw through them and instead of getting mad you might have actually felt sorry for this person and they can't stand that. I'm hearing the one that got away. And thank God that you did, because it was a saving grace that you did. Okay. And it's interesting because if they if the extended resonates for you, which I definitely think it will, um, this is that there was one X that popped up that one card, and it would be, make perfect sense that, you know, we're also going into retrograde these exes are going to come in because they feel that soul energy coming in whether it's somebody who's ready in your life or somebody who's about to come in when you meet that one everybody's going to have like a especially if they still have, if they're still tied to you energetically last call last call let's go you know what i mean like the last chance that they have to get you anybody who's been holding back their emotions it's like they all come out of the bushes at once all right show me what else scorpio needs to see um, I don't remember if I said this or not, but all readings were on sale for the rest of the month. Every single week, I take one sale away until the month is done, and then they'll all be back to full price. Star-crossed lovers, love yourself first. 
and sensitivity. The reason why you're getting this love in your life now is because you have focused on yourself, because you have loved yourself first. And also you found, it's not that you loved yourself first and now you're in a relationship and you're focused on that. It's that you found a way to love yourself first throughout your entire relationship. You've gotten to the point where you've mastered self-love and you will not allow even the most perfect love to take over that. You will have your routine, you will put yourself first and the love will be second. That is the energy that the universe has been wanting you to have throughout your entire life. And now that you have it, you should be very, very proud of yourself, Scorpio. So we have star-crossed lovers. I'm just seeing two people that are obsessed with people, with each other. It's like, people are gonna be disgusted by you guys. People are gonna be completely, yeah, you're gonna look at this vulnerability. But yeah, it's a family man. I'll pull that card after. But this is somebody who's very family oriented. It, it makes sense in the extended, the, the man for you, the woman for you. They were the pentacle, the king of pentacles, right? Showing me somebody that was ready for something stable, something long term here. So I definitely feel like you're going to know who this person is because you're going to be able to feel vulnerable around this person. They're going to crack your shell open, right? And it's like, you're just going to find yourself spitting out things. Like, you know, they say Scorpios are very secretive. You're going to find yourself saying like the most craziest things to this person, things that maybe you haven't even admitted to yourself. And it's just because you get, you feel so comfortable that sometimes you get carried away. Like, you know how, like, if you drink, sometimes you just like say things because you're not really thinking. It's almost like you're going to feel drunk in love. That's the energy, drunk in love. You're just going to feel so drunk in love that you're just going to say things. And then after you say it, you're going to be like, did I just say that? And then you're going to just brush it away because it's just like, yeah, I did. And you know what? It felt good. So we're, whatever. I'm not going to, you know what? I'm not going to overthink it. So for once, again, this is somebody who I don't see you overthinking with. Um, this is somebody who's going to be sensitive. This is somebody who's going to have a sensitive soul. I definitely feel like they have a lot of water energy in their chart. Um, I feel like they also have earth energy too, because I do feel like this person is going to be able to ground you and they're going to be able to like it's almost like you're going to be healing your past traumas through the relationship that you have with this person and anything that they have to heal they're going to be healing through the relationship that they have with you and i think it's because you it's almost like a therapist you guys could almost be like each other's therapists without even realizing it because the communication is going to be so calming. It's going to be so healing. It's going to be so relaxing. Having one conversation with this person I'm hearing could be like having a year's worth of therapy with some random, you know, therapist. So yeah, it's beautiful, calming energy here, but lots of PDA. The physical chemistry is going to be off the charts. You're not, you're going to be two electric magnets. You're not going to be able to take your hands off of each other here. Um, the passion is going to be electric, electric, and it's going to be like different. There's no explanation for this kind of passion, but it's something that you've never experienced before. And um, with this though, we gotta remember that the high, some of you this could be a Leo, but I'm, I'm, you gotta remember that the highs are gonna be very high, but the lows are also gonna be very, very low. And the fights are still gonna be passionate. <laughs> um, but during moments of arguments for the future, this is just a note, you two would be better off to kind of separate and then come together after you've had a deep breath, because otherwise, things could get, and I can feel it very strongly in this finger here. Otherwise, things could get very, very heated. A lot of things that are not meant to be said will be said, and it could go from zero to 100 really quickly. Okay. Oh, one thing that I added to my crystal shop, I forgot to tell you guys. So I have my, for those of you guys that don't know, I did launch my crystal boutique. I don't have the crystals like showing right now because I am kind of like trying to fix up a setting where everything's perfect, but I do have a couple of the crystals here that I have. My website is in the description box below. So these are just a couple of the crystals that we have. And I did launch a new mystery box and I had Scorpios in mind. So that is where I 
intuitively meditate on your name and then I pick crystals that are meant for you, crystals that are called for you. And then I do, um, on the thank you card, I leave a note and I let you know how I think you should use those crystals in your life or how those crystals are going to best serve you in your life. So I just wanted to mention the uh, mystery box because I felt like, I don't know, Scorpio, like Scorpio and even Aries um, need that one. We have opposites attract. So this love of yours is going to be the opposite of you. They're going to be, so if you're somebody who's very entrepreneur, this person is going to be somebody who loves working in nine to five and could never really imagine having a business, right? If you're very spiritual, this person is going to be very grounded. If you like to do yoga, this person loves to weight lift. Like you are the complete opposites, but it's going to be the most amazing thing ever because this person, you're going to learn so much. Like as much as you are opposites, oddly enough, everything that this person is interested in you're going to be like oh, well i always wanted to try that but i just never had right and i'm hearing tennis maybe some of you this person plays tennis um but it's things that you're not going to be like ew why would you ever want to do that like you're not going to be bored of these things some of the things of course you're not going to be like super hyped about of course you don't have to do everything with this person but there's going to be a lot of things about one another that you're going to be like, well, can you teach me that? Or I've always wanted to do that. Can I go with you one day? And it's just about new experiences, constantly having new experiences, constantly changing the way that you do things with one another. So it's like there's going to be so much excitement. There's going to be no time for this connection to get boring or for this connection to feel dull. I also see you guys cooking a lot. You guys are going to be that couple where your families come over to your house because you guys are that Oh, I almost ruined the extended. That came out in the extended. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna just keep going. Um, someone may enter your life who's who's very different from you, but you will compliment each other. Yeah. So this is the same opposites attract card. This person, you're gonna compliment each other, but you're gonna compliment each other in the best ways. Together, you have the ability. For a lot of you, you can actually run a business with this individual, or they have like. Say you own a business, um, this person could be a graphic designer, they could be um, somebody who's into marketing, whatever the case is, but you definitely have assets that the other needs. And together you're a perfect team when it comes to finances, when it comes to love, when it comes to everything here. So it's beautiful, I put that on top of the Star Cross Lovers card. So next we have on a pedestal, Oh, and then this one, it's like they're giving, um, the person is like holding a crown out to someone, right? So it's like this person is like, oh my God, I love that. I love that. This person is going to help you too. If your crown has been crooked, they're going to help you to fix your crown. If you feel like you aren't worthy of a crown or you don't have a crown, this person is going to bring you to the highest level of yourself. This person is somebody who's going to push you to be the best version, to stay on top of your game at all points in life and it's because they see you from you always see people for their highest versions of themselves finally you have somebody who sees you for that and isn't threatened see some people see you for that but they get threatened or intimidated this person is not intimidated by you this person is not threatened by you um this person can handle you and i think that's what you like i think that's what differs this person from a lot of people in your life I think that you're going to be so shocked that they can handle you that you're going to try to do little things to see if they like crawl up into a little ball or whatever the case is. But every single time this person is, you know, like, interesting. Um, I'm getting two very strong masculine energies. For some of you, this could be a same sex relationship, but for others, this could just mean that. You guys have a lot of masculine placements in your chart. Like if you go on Cafe Astrology, you can do a birth chart reading and you'll see like where your feminine placements are, where your masculine placements are. Like I have so many masculine placements. I, it's ridiculous. I really wish I was more feminine, but I'm not. And what am I going to do about it? So I just have a lot of masculine placements, but there are some people that have a lot of feminine, whatever the case is. But I feel like you two both have a lot of masculine placements. Um... So there may be a little bit of a power dynamic, right? Like I'm hearing, oh, that's cute when they want to take control and you're just like, oh, they think that they think they're going to take control. That's so cute. And then when, and then they think the same thing, like, oh, wow, they think that they're going to take control. Like, that's so cute. It's like, <laughs> you guys are just, are both so powerful and you both have such big voices and big energies and auras and it's very funny you definitely attract like you command attention when you walk into the room it's like 
Yeah, and also you both dress like, like the way that you dress looks so good together. And for others of you, it's like, it's such a contrast. Like somebody's like bright colors all day, loves colors. And then somebody's like, I only wear black and white. And sometimes I'll wear gray if I'm feeling frisky. Like, you know what I mean? It's like complete opposites, but yet you look so similar in a sense. You are, it's definitely like two halves of a whole vibration that I'm getting. So on a pedestal, someone new will put you on it. So for some of you, this is definitely somebody new that's coming into your life. Uh, somebody new will put you on a pedestal. And for others of you, if this is an ex, know that this ex had to love themselves first before they were able to be vulnerable and be sensitive so that the two of you guys could come together. Because I feel like, you know, opposites attract isn't always a bad thing. And I think that you have to be like evolved to realize that like, okay, when I wasn't, I re I was like living the life where I was like, if this, per if the people like, if this person doesn't like what I like, how could I be their friend? Like who the heck thinks like that? I used to think like that. And then I realized like, no, everybody has this and that. And you know what I mean? And, and you, you know, you get a big group of people and then eventually everybody has everything, whatever. But everybody doesn't have to be completely perfect or completely your perfect person. And I think that that's what this person or that's what you guys thought. You thought these opposite, you saw the worst in all the opposite things when there's always a positive to every negative, right? And now you're able to see the relationship both from a different point of view. And um, now this person's coming back to put you on a pedestal coming back to maybe that fix your, uh, your crown reference was because they were the one that made that crown a little bit crooked, right? So somebody sees your worth, somebody sees your potential. And for some of you, they might've taken a little bit of time to get there, but I'm hearing this is the last time. We have transformation, transformation, wait. Oh, transformative. I was like, what? Um, I'm not going to pull this one, but I'm just going to read it. I'm not going to go into it, but I'm just going to read it. And it says, this love will be deeply transformational for something new and powerful to emerge. Yeah, like I'm telling you, like, you're going to think that this love is one of the greatest things that's ever happened to you. But realistically, it's what happened. It's what this love creates. Right. Some of you are going to have the most. This person could definitely be a different cultural background than you. I just saw a little daughter and a little son the cutest little things I've ever seen in my whole entire life. They're two years old, two maybe, between two and four. Um, this could be a future prediction. And for others of you, you may already have kids with somebody, right? You may have kids with somebody who walked away from you, somebody who possibly hurt you in the past. Um, but it's like this person didn't like destroy you or they didn't like, you know what I mean? Like when I say like your crown was tilted, I mean like literally flicked off a little bit. They weren't, they didn't chuck off your crown, meaning they didn't cheat on you or anything crazy like that. This is not that energy. This is the energy of somebody who treats people the way that they want to be treated. Even if they're having a bad day or they're in a low vibrational space, they are not going to do something that disrespectful. I'm hearing they were raised better than that. I actually want to get some unspoken words instead. Oh wow, literally the soulmate card just flipped over. But I'll pull that after. I want to get some of these. I feel you. This could definitely be um, this person. You know, some people, they are just, they read energies. They read energies, they read rooms. So this person, if you are feeling sad, they're going to know before you even have to say anything. They're just going to be able to feel your vibe. They're going to be able to understand your vibe very quickly, very easily. And that is part of the reason as to why they got to know you so quickly, because it doesn't matter what you didn't say, they knew how you felt regardless. Yeah, look, loving you is easy and that's what scares me or loving you is easy, which scares me. And yeah, because it's so easy with the two of you guys. And I think that realistically, I think that these are unspoken messages from your person, but I do think that this is going to resonate with you too. I think that it scares you as to how easy this is because you're used to having something that is very complicated and very complex, or you're not used to having somebody who's able to be, where it's a card vulnerable with you and just flat out right away tell you like, Hey, I want you, you're mine. Like you're used to it being complicated and you having to like force somebody to tell you their feelings. That's not the case. Or you're the one who's used to somebody having to fish out your feelings for them but for once you kind of just shout it to the world like i want this person and you're just like what 
right? Um, but before I forget to actually read it, the soulmate card says, your soulmate will come into your life to challenge you and to help you grow. It will be an undeniable connection, 100%. Undeniable. You will be attracted to this person instantly. It's not somebody that you will, like, they may be different from your usual type, but regardless of that, you will be instantly drawn to them. You will be instantly attracted to them. You will feel instantly pulled to them. And some of you guys, if you haven't already met this person, I feel like you're gonna meet them in a public space. Um, some of you guys are gonna meet this. Do you, uh, do you have a Whole Foods where you live? Because I literally see you near avocados or corn. Um, maybe the avocados are by the corn. Okay, now I'm seeing tomatoes. You could be at a grocery store and it's like, not a big grocery store, like, I mean, Whole Foods is kind of big, but it's something like Whole Foods or like an organic grocery store or one of the smaller grocery stores, you know what I mean? It's not something like huge, like Costco or anything like that. So it would, it could even be like a local grocery store, but you're gonna be, your intention is to buy something when you meet this person. Some of you are gonna see this person once and you're gonna feel something so strong, but neither of you are gonna say something. I see you guys like crossing paths through a door. Neither of you are gonna say something, then you're gonna see each other again and this person is gonna to have to say something because like fate, right? Because once they first saw you, they couldn't stop thinking of you and you randomly couldn't stop thinking of them. That sounds like a movie. I was so damaged. I didn't want to damage you. Yeah, so for some of you, ooh, I don't like this energy, but I'm going to tell you what it is. Um, I tried. I really, really tried. Okay, so yeah, this is related to the ex, and I hear you. Some of you are going to shut this ex down, but I just have a quick message for those of you who this is an ex coming back. Uh, either way, though, there is an ex coming back. Whether you want this ex to come back or not, either way, I do feel like there is an ex coming back as well as this connection that you're in or that's coming in. But um, with this, I was so damaged. I didn't want to damage you. There was a card before that I mentioned about your ex and I'm going, or them not being able to be vulnerable, having to go through that. What I see now with this is they were so damaged and didn't want to damage you. So they did something to damage the relationship. But by doing that, they ended up damaging you in, in return, right? Like they did something, they found somebody else, whatever it is that they did to sabotage the relationship because they felt insecure, it ended up hurting you anyway. So why didn't they just walk away? Because that would have saved them from damaging you and it would have, you know, at least ended on way better terms. So it's like, this person doesn't make any sense. Like the things that they're saying, like when they come towards you, you're gonna be like, what are you even saying? Because none of it's gonna make sense. But oddly enough, to them, it makes sense. To them, they are completely, you know, what they are saying should get them forgiven. That's the mindset that this person has. So that's very weird. Um, I'm going to pull a couple of these. That's weird. So if you're in a soulmate connection, a strong divine counterpart connection, or you feel yourself entering one, you feel something coming, something in the air, then the extended will be for you. Um, if you're wanting an ex who lied, cheated, betrayed you, don't watch the extended. because it's not the energy. This energy is somebody who is so pure. Um, so, you know, that person could be very well coming back to you, but it's not gonna resonate in that way for somebody who has done that to you. Because I just wanna, you know, be straight up with you. I don't want you to waste your money, your time. Um, justice here. Yeah, I love this, I love this. This is somebody who's gonna come in and, and give you, um, I don't sense this as Libra at all, even though this is a Libra card, but I do feel like this person is gonna come in and bring balance and bring justice into your life, right? This is that one final fair round and taken final round, right? Like all that trying, all those ups and downs and all those thinking, this is the one, this is the one, and 
and finally it comes in and it's gonna be so subtle you guys it's gonna come so subtly or taking this relationship that you're already into the next level or the moment you find out they're the one for you it's gonna be so subtle and some of you i see it happening while you're having pancakes <gasps> Somebody might get proposed to. Um, I see Aries, Gemini, and Rebirth. Some of you have an Aries or Gemini X that's coming back in because um, they see you as the star here. Um, what you focus on, I saw mirroring effect. So what you focus on is what you will receive. So make sure you're focusing on the right things even when you are you feel like you're about to give up hope. Yeah, um, stay focused, remember why you started. Stay focused, remember why you started. Or stay focused, remember why you left right if somebody's coming back from the past that's not for you remember why you left that person and say focus on what you truly want which is the star card you want your end all be all which is literally right around the corner so for honestly when you're about to make a lot of money or your business is about to go viral you do get a lot of tests are you really worth it are you really ready for it and i do believe that the same thing happens for love so again with these exes coming back they are going to be tests they're probably going to come back on a lonely night when you're drunk at a moment where you really want to do it and you're really going to be tempted, but please, please, Scorpio, don't because this is right around the corner. Um, I just had another message and so many messages. People always wonder why do I talk so fast? Well, because I'm not trying to lose any of the messages. Huh? What was it? Yeah, look, spiritual partnership, six of wands. It's going to be so much happiness, Pisces energy. Um... Something didn't sit right. If it's a Pisces X, please just, I don't even care, just scratch that person out of your life. Something, like the whole reading was so beautiful and the energies were great, especially the extended. But as soon as I said Pisces, it feels like I'm doing a whole nother reading. So just cut off that Pisces. Man, I really wish I remembered what I was gonna say. Okay, well, I hope you guys, if I remember, I will write it. Like I'm going to, um tag the personal readings and my other social media platforms and at the bottom of it i will add it again if i can remember what it was that i was initially going to say but otherwise i love you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this reading i can't wait to see you guys soon um, we're going to go into the extended preview next and everything you need for personals um daily content so i started doing more content on my instagram if you're not following me there make sure you're following me there we do giveaways we do very fun readings that are like, if you're seeing this, it's a sign. Um, if you're seeing this, this is the zodiac sign wants you back. Like very interesting things. And then I also do daily messages there. So you will always get, if you want more content and you're tired of waiting for your reading, there will be readings every single day on Instagram. And I go live and I answer free questions all the time as well. So I think it's a lot more fun on Instagram. So go there if you want to experience more um of this content and otherwise thank you so much the lovers what the heck this is so beautiful happy home happy home and the lovers um that could be like a little bit of like worshiping energy where this person just like sees you as everything um everything that they've ever wanted right everything that they truly desire